I'll be back with a DC Sports 87 pickup video. I haven't made one in a while. I got two orders back. One's a little smaller. Another one's a big one. But this smaller one has two kind of bigger, higher-end raw cards that I'm so intrigued and hopeful that I get lucky and that they are in good condition. So let's go ahead and do this one first. I'm excited to see. As always, I will tell you what I paid for each one. And then I will... Um, shut off the camera and go through them and see which ones are gradable. Create stacks so you can see what percentage were gradable or, or not. All right, there are going to be some uh, Pokemon cards in here because my son is really getting into Pokemon. And whenever I see him on DC Sports um, for, you know, a buck or two or a little more, I'll go ahead and buy them for my son and uh, give it to him when he's being good. It's fun seeing him take an interest in a hobby that's fairly similar to mine I'm teaching him about condition and centering and all that stuff so it's kind of fun okay here we go first card up we got that geno smith uh we got nine out of 25 it's only 16 bucks and i love geno smith's autograph you know he's not going to be a hall of fame or anything but say he does well for the Seahawks a couple weeks in a row, then uh, his, his card prices will spike a little bit enough for me to make some profit. So 16 bucks on that. Uh, Logan Thomas, um, you've heard me say this before. You've seen his cards. I like how he transitioned from a quarterback to a tight end uh, to make it in the league. Um, this card was only two dollars. Number out of 49. The Amari Stoudemire. Uh, I believe this card is numbered out of 99, and it was only six bucks. There you go. Trevor's story, man, his stuff is so low. So uh, I may make a whole video on this. Uh, he was one player that I PC'd, and I, I thought he would have a bright outlook. I really did. It was him and Freddie Freeman. Luckily, I hit on Freddie Freeman, and I was wrong about him. But I have some amazing Trevor Story cards in my PC that have plummeted, obviously. But I still love them, and I, I don't know. <laughs> if he could stay healthy, man, just give me a little window where I can sell some of it back for a fraction. Uh, anyway, this is five bucks for this. Number out of fifty. He is such a, a really good defender, and and uh, he's a good ball player. Uh, it's just too bad. Uh, Michael Jordan. This is four bucks. Star Quest. Baker Mayfield was only a dollar fifty. It's a color match, which I liked. Number out of two forty nine. Draymond Green was only a buck fifty. These are low numbered out of forty nine. I am not a Draymond fan. Johnny Damon was only a buck. I just thought it was a cool image. Kind of like a farewell thing here. Um, we got some Pokemon. Uh, quickly, I will tell you, just in case you see some at card shows and stuff, um, these, this area is where you are going to know how rare and valuable the, the Pokemon cards are. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Um, so one star designates kind of ultra rare and double is two stars is ultra, ultra rare, something like that. And then this number, um, if that first number is greater than that next number that's that's a very uh, a more expensive card that's very it's even better than two star rarity so i don't know just look over there and uh this designates value to you kind of the ex there's an ex too anyway these are probably a couple bucks anyway so pokemon and here is one of the raw cards that i need to be hopeful at least a mint nine i spent two hundred and twenty dollars on it so it's a risk but i liked the centering it's not a gem 10 centering but it looked like a mint nine centering to me uh so i'm hoping it's clean it's a risk it's definitely a risk uh, we'll see we'll see i'm excited uh this was only a buck the deandre hunter out of 49 i believe i like these apprentice artists out of 49 <laughs> we got a george bush um there's some like bill clinton's and hillary's in this set the decision 92 and it's a 50 stripe they were hard to get this is only two bucks um there's the v uh, and that's a ultra rare right there just one star and the number is less so it's not crazy crazy valuable but still a couple bucks all right here's the other raw card then on the left and the right and the pictures made it look the bottom edge looked kind of chewed up but oh good i it was just the lighting i knew it I knew a little bit about these cards, um, and I was confident. Oh, I hope this is a mint nine. I really do. I got a steal on this. It was like two hundred bucks, two hundred and ten bucks. Second year card, Bowman Chrome, numbered out of three hundred. LeBron James. 
for two hundred, two hundred and ten dollars. This lot, these lots were only like two bucks each. Um, I think one of them was numbered at twenty five in in these, so I'll I'll break them out. Um, I know I know he didn't pan out, but it was just it was just like a good deal. I thought, or maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. I thought there was an orange in one of these. It's not the proper orange, is it? That's okay. Uh, so that was just a waste of a couple bucks. No biggie. Tyreek Hill numbered out of fifty. It was four bucks. And the Reggie Jackson. Oh man, look how thick this case is. This is only eight bucks. I thought he's had a good career. Uh, Freddie Freeman. This is around sixty-five bucks, I believe. Sixty bucks, maybe. Opening day. His rookie card tops, two thousand eleven. PSA ten. And we got a graded Pokemon. This is a V Star. Ultra rare. Uh, I don't know. Give this to him when he's being really good. It's probably like seven, eight bucks. Okay, now I'll shut off the camera and go through. All right, here was that first order. Graded slabs I can just sell as is. We're not even going to go through those. We're almost, uh, they're, they're not worth grading or anything, so I'll just throw them in a dollar box, and who knows if I do a card show in the future or whatever. Pokemon we want to go through. Um, here is the ungradable stack. And I'd say there's about five cards here, and there's probably about seven cards in the gradable kind of stacks right here. So we're looking at about 40, 45%. Ungradable, about 55% gradable. Um, just the back corner wear, big refractor line on the daemon, corner wear, corner wear, and indents on the back on the Tyree kill. And the surprisingly, this thick Geno actually looked like a mint 9, and the auto is a bold 10, so I, I don't know. I think it's worth grading, maybe. Mari Stoudemire just had a touch of white on the back, but decent. Um, Trevor Story actually looked like a 10, surprisingly. And the, the Jordan, just a little off-center, thicker on the left and the right, but it was sharp. Uh, Mick Baker, these two look like 10s. They're not gradable, but maybe down the road, who knows. Uh, and then the big cards. I know you're probably waiting to see this. I was really excited. I, I'm kind of iffy on these, 50-50. I'm happy on the on the second year Chrome Refractor. Very happy on it. Uh, I, I think it's a 9. I think we can get there. Maybe an SGC 9. It's it's somewhere like an 8-5, 9 for PSA. So I'll, I'll take it. Trust me, it could have been worse. Uh, just a little bit of edge nick right here and just a little bit of lifting on this corner other than that it's not bad and then just a little off center so uh it's close it's it's really close i hope we can get a nine hope we can get it there this card a little disappointed in i i i shouldn't have gambled i guess so much um because i think a psa 8 what is around what i paid for this raw and there it is right there do you see it uh, a little bit of uplifting on a few of the corners, but that's nothing major. I'm more concerned about this indent right here. You can see, other than that, there's no surface scratches or anything. It's just that. I'm just worried about that. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. A little uplifting there. Uh, so, I think I'll probably lose 30, 30, 40 bucks on this card. Um, unless I have a miracle. Maybe SGC can give this a 9. I, I don't know. It's iffy. All right, let's go through this next one. All right, let's get into the bigger order. I forgot there is, there are a couple big cards in this order. I think an Aaron, Ju Aaron Judge auto. Um, I just, I haven't opened it since I received it. And I received it like a week or two ago. Um, so we got some slabs. And then we get into the raw cards. Make sure I didn't miss any. And we're good to go. All right, let's get started with the raw cards first. I think you'll like the cards in this, in this stack. All right, I love the look of this Soul of the Game insert. This is Frank Thomas. It was $4. Uh, this one I, I liked. Um, it's Iverson's Rookie Year 96. It's the Youth Quake. Um, you can see it's centered up top, a little bit off right there, but no greening. Uh, I, I just overpaid a little bit maybe i think i've paid 30 bucks on it but it looked clean i'm excited to see it uh this is john stockton older tops chrome refactor for five bucks <laughs> a few more pokemons but i'll at least show you what i'm talking about these ones are a little more expensive they were around uh, eight bucks each um see how that number is higher than the other one so same with that one put these aside there's a charizard it was like 14 bucks i don't know if it was a good deal it's a cool card um kurt warner was four bucks on the game older refractor tom gugliata 
these were before they had gold refractors in basketball. The first year gold refractors was 2003. So 2002, the it was black refractors and they were low numbered. They were out of 99. See that? So this was about six or seven bucks. The Zaza was about two bucks. The Jeff Green, I thought he had a nice long career. Um, I think this was around $11. Remember at 99? The Gold Fingers, I love this card of Jerry Rice. This one was about six bucks. Carson Palmer is only like a buck. The Shack, it was off center, I could tell, but it's still at eight or nine bucks. I was a buyer. It's numbered at 249. Dame Lillard was only a buck or two for the Silver Print, Silver Select. Wayman Tisdale was only like a buck for the Refractor. Yes. <laughs> All right, so DC Sports, if you ever can sign with them, make sure when they list your items, you check them over because they will miss some details about the item, like this particular one, the eBay title. It didn't include refractor. It was just looked like a regular card. But if you look at the pictures, you can tell it shined a little bit. So I ended up getting this for $6 for a refractor, Tom Brady refractor. Happy with that. This LeBron was only like 3 or 4 bucks. Um, Mariota, a former duck, and you can get him so cheap. It was like a buck fifty for this rookie jersey. Uh, D'Angelo Russell was only like a buck fifty. I think it's pretty low numbered too. Numbered at thirty nine. Draymond was pretty low numbered. That was like a buck fifty out of seventy nine. The Zach Martin was only fourteen bucks, I believe, out of ninety nine. His rookie year, two thousand fourteen. Uh, Chandler Parsons, one out of five. I I don't remember exactly, but it was cheap. It was probably four bucks. The Ryan Terrain, uh, numbered out of fifty. Man, he could have been really good. It's too bad now. It's just two bucks. Two bucks on the Fred Davis, too. He could have been good, too. The Trevor Gaylor, I don't know much about him, um, but I know these cards sell well. I think I bought it for 16 17 bucks, and look at that, number out of 25 I don't know. It seemed like a steal. I could be off, but Darren McFadden was only 2 bucks, numbered out of 50 Um, Some more Pokemon. This is a lot of five of these cards for $17, bucks. Uh, Drew Locke. I think he will start some games for the Giants. I really do. I think he's on the Giants right now. <laughs> Drew Locke. Anyway, at six bucks. Uh, potential backup becoming a starter situation there. Purchase. Dellen Wright. He, this card is numbered out of ten at five or six dollars. I thought it was a good deal. Uh, I don't remember what I paid on that one, but we'll put it over there. This card I love this card I, I spent 55 dollars on it i think it's a good deal it's an older tom brady card really like a fourth year card but uh it's a platinum finish and those are numbered out of 100 55 dollars for this for a mint nine all day i would buy that um here's the aaron judge you know i bought this kind of when he was just rolling like home runs every game little Little down streak right now, but that's okay. Um, you know, he's heading into the all-star break. Just phenomenal start of the season. Um, and he's staying healthy. That's the main thing, right? So it is a 7. That's okay, but it's number at 25. I think I spent $360 on it. I still think that's a steal. 2013 does have a little edge nick right here. I'm sure that's why I got the 7, but nice card though, right? I don't know. I like it. I splurged on that one. James Harden. <laughs> this was only $7. $7 for the Mint 9 Harden Rookie. This was just $12 for the Silver Prism Dominance Curry. $12. I'm good with that. I think only $15 on the Kawhi Leonard Silver. $10. Um, we got Brandon Lowe. This was only $5 for the Sepia. Out of 10 These are numbered at 99 aren't they? Or just not even numbered. Either way, five bucks. Uh, another nice purchase. I like it for a mint nine purple. You can even see the numbering through through the back. Look at that number at four ninety nine. Two thousand eleven is rookie year. Forty dollars for that. I think it's a good deal. He's a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. Kevin O'Connell. I think he's a coach now somewhere, right? This is only five bucks. I want it for. It's low numbered blue X Fractor out of 50. Five bucks. Five or six bucks, maybe. Um, you don't see this card a lot. You really don't. I mean, most of them are autographed, but this is the playoff ticket. So uh, these are the ones numbered out of 99. There you go. 
I just noticed that. I never noticed that before. So 94, and they actually put the seat number as 94 there. Has anyone else ever noticed that? That's really cool. All right, I like it. I think it was 30 bucks for that. And we're going to end on a Kawhi Leonard. I think it was only like $9 for his hoops rookie. Imagine during the boom, this card <laughs> it was probably $70. Who knows? All right, so now I'll quickly shut off the camera and go through them. Um, all right, here they are in their piles. Slabs I don't need to do anything with. Pokemon I won't go through. Uh, this is the ungradable pile, and these ones are the gradable, and this is the urgent. Uh, so percentage-wise, it's about similar to the last order and the most all orders. Uh, about 45% were ungradable, and about 55% were gradable. Let's go over the ungradable ones. So this one has some just chipping, like almost like some paint chipping off of there, unfortunately. Uh, way off center, you can see that, look how thick that is. And then that is their uh, corner wear, very common with metal cards, you guys know that. It's too bad, this shack, they always have kind of surface scratch, but this is pristine surface, but look at that centering, it's just going to kill it. I, I'll look into maybe, see what an 8 sells for. Maybe if it's worth grading. Um, you know, thick card corner wear, some foil uplifting, surface scratches, thick card wear, thick card wear, some light surface scratches. Uh, otherwise, it's not too bad, but still not worth grading. Some surface dimples um, and a little corner ding right there. And this one, I mean, there's always chipping on this, so there's no point opening that seal. Uh, and here is the, um, gradable, but just doesn't make financial sense to grade them yet. Uh, the Gugliotta, I love that card. It looked like a mint nine, a little off center on the Jeff Green, but it looked like a mint nine, the mint nine on the Stockton, potential 10 on the Palmer, 10 on the Lillard. Uh, it has one refractor line through on this one, but other than that, it's centered up. These cards are never centered up. So it looked like a mint nine to me. Uh, that one looked like a potential 10, 10. 10 potential 10 there too so the urgent stack is small but mighty i i'm really happy about this uh this one looks like a potential 10 if the grader's feeling generous on this centering right here top centered uh perfect perfect card other than that so at least a nine and i'm gonna make good profit on this one it looked like a 10 maybe a little off center top to bottom the worst case gets a nine right and it's still gonna be profitable Zach Martin looked like a 10 too. Very happy with that. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed those two orders. Uh, sorry it took me so long to post a DC Sports pickup video, but I hope everyone is doing well, and you'll see me, I'm sure, on a reveal soon. Okay, bye.